Our next guest says, wait for it, we're talking retail ice age here, there will be two, three big retail losers. They are J.C. Penney, Sears and Kmart. Sears and Kmart are pretty much the same thing. Bill Simon is our guest, former chief of Walmart USA. You say that these three companies are just going out. They're the losers. They're gone, right? It's going to be tough for them, Stuart. They've got a lot of work to do. No, I know, I know that. But look, are you saying they're gone? They're going to fade away, go out of business? They'll disappear that bad? I think companies that aren't differentiated today, that they're not famous for something, they're stuck in the middle, are going to find it really, really difficult to move forward. If you look at JCPenney, it's a great company. It has been an American icon for a long time. But they're not the cheapest. They're not the trendiest. They're not the hippest. They're not the most, they don't have the most distribution points. They're, they're losing their reason for being. And unless they can reestablish that, it's going to be very difficult for them to continue on for the long run. Great I, company, I, I, good leadership but just no position. Okay, look, I read your stuff, and you're saying that online sales will eventually reach, what, 20% maybe of all sales, all retail sales, 20% will be conducted online. You know, that seems like a very small number to me. I thought that online was just about going to take over. Well, that's what, you, that's what people would like you to think. Now, virtually everything will be influenced by online. You might search for a product and then go buy it. You might order it online and go pick it up. You might refill your prescription with your phone, but get it, you know, get it at the, at the corner drugstore. Um, so, so there'll be a lot of transactions that are enabled by technology, and technology is going to be critical going forward. But the, you know, the, the, the notion that retail is going to go away, uh, kind of mm -hmm. like the dinosaur, it's just not going to happen. Is Walmart emerging as the winner amongst the bricks and mortar stores they're the ones who are emerging as the winners in the big contest with Amazon? Well, they've done very well. They've, they've, re they've you know, really sought to reinvent themselves with their acquisitions and their, and their strategy. But keep in mind, you, you know, before they started this, they peaked at an operating income of $29 billion, and then last year it was under $23 billion. So they've invested a substantial amount of money in this. And as long as their board and their investors continue to give them permission to do that, they're going to be very aggressive. Um, others haven't done that and haven't found a way to respond, but, All right, Bill, uh, but Walmart has. They've done a good job. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate you being with us. Thank you very much indeed. Bill Simon. Yes, sir. Got it. We'll see All you, right. Stuart. Uh,